What a brilliant album! Hey, hey! So, today I want to talk about Agneta's first English language solo album from 1983, Wrap Your Arms Around Me. For me, this is a perfect pop album from start to finish, so let's jump right to it, track by track. What a great album opener! I always love this song, love Agneta's voice, the horns, the accordion, the drum pattern, which is somewhat exotic, and I love the backing vocals at the end. Also, there are so many different sections in this song, and I love the bit where she sings Hot Pants and Feed, and also the section Sun 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 Dazzle. This song is so much fun and joy, and for me, definitely a perfect soundtrack for a hot summer's day. Can't shake loose. Change in tempo and style. It has so much drive and energy. I love the bass playing, and towards the end, it has this very great, exotic sounding instrumental section. The song was written by Russ Ballard, who also wrote Frida's big hit I Know There's Something Going On, which was very successful in the US, where Agneta's song also got into the top 30 charts. There is a shorter US remix of this song, which even sounds a bit more punchy, has more echo, and it has this very bizarre edit, which for some reason I always loved. Shame! Again, great horns, punchy drums, Agneta's voice is in perfect shape, it's so strong, and the chorus sounds bombastic with its backing vocals from three members of the band Smokey. It's almost as if Agneta disappears during the chorus. This song can be a bit schmalsy, but I really like Agneta's voice during the verses, it sounds so good and present, and perhaps they should have kept that style during the chorus as well, I'm not so sure about Agneta's whispering there. Once burned, twice shy, so good. It has so much punch and drive. I love those guitars, love the whole musical structure and the change in tempo. There are so many great unexpected twists and turns throughout and I love those backing vocals towards the end. Again, sung by three members of the band Smokey. Mr. Persuasion. This is another big favorite of mine. I love the strings and Agneta's vocals at the very end, you know, up and down. And again, there are some absolutely gorgeous backing vocals throughout, which really is one of the strong elements of the entire album. So almost the entire A-side was top-notch with so many strong songs and then comes side B and opens with just one of the most beautiful ballads I have ever heard. Wrap Your Arms Around Me, the title track, is just absolutely gorgeous. It starts with this fade-in intro, you can hear some crickets and then comes the full backing track with those fantastic strings. I really love the entire string arrangement on this song. I love the guitar hook throughout, everything sounds so warm, the production is just so good as it is for the entire album. Agneta's voice in this song is top-notch, perhaps one of her best vocal performances ever. This is the heart and soul of the album. And it's interesting that it opens side B exactly like Frida's I Know There's Something Going On opens side B on her solo album, which was basically the heart and soul of that record. Wrap Your Arms Around Me segues straight into the next track, To Love, which has again a fantastic string arrangement, and together with some punchy drums and nice piano playing, it sounds quite big. Good song. I Wish Tonight Could Last Forever. I always love this song. It keeps the album's overall themes going, you know, about romance and love. It's all very sensual. Just perfect for Agneta. To me, this song is one of the big highlights of this album. I'm not saying this because it was written by Agneta. That just happens to be the case. And what a great tune it is. Agneta's writing style is just so special. The song just starts straight away and it simply keeps going and it never returns to that first verse, quite similar actually to Once Burnt, Twice Shy. This song was written by Thomas Ledeen, who also wrote I Got Something for Frida's album. I always like this track a lot. I like the chorus. I like the entire production with the drums being all over the place. It's a catchy tune. Stand By My Side is the perfect album closer. Again, it has great hooks, especially those guitars in the chorus, but also during the verses. It is pop perfection and, if you ask me, quite an epic song. So, as I said in the beginning, to me this album as a whole is perfect from start to finish. The production is absolutely excellent, Agneta is in top form throughout and the songs fit just perfect to her style. The musicians are excellent too, from the brass sections, guitars and drums, to those gorgeous string arrangements and the fantastic bass playing by Rutger Gunnarsson, who of course was ABBA's main bass player and such an important part for their sound. And you can really hear his sophisticated style throughout this entire album, with the title track being one of many highlights, giving it its rich and warm sound in the first place. The album was quite a success for Agneta, similar to Frida's Something's Going On, where we had Phil Collins as producer and the horn section from Earth, Wind and Fire. Agneta's album also has a well-known producer and famous musicians on it. 
It was produced by Mike Chapman, and not only do we have Smokey as backing vocalists, but beside Rutger Gunnarsson, many musicians from ABBA's backing band as well. It was also engineered by Michael B. Tretto, who of course was so important for all of ABBA's recordings and their sound. The promotion of the album was really great, there were some nice TV performances on Swedish TV, in Germany, and basically in the rest of Europe, and even some interviews in America. And one of the highlights was a 25-minute TV show simply called The Heat Is On, where Agneta performed six tracks, half of the album, in a very lively studio with audience, backing vocalists and musicians. It really seems like it could have been a perfect setting for a mini live concert, but unfortunately all songs are performed to playback. There is also a making of documentary on the recording sessions for the album, similar to Frida's documentary, but only half of its length, running for 20 minutes. Also different to Frida, unfortunately we never got any of Agneta's solo material on DVD or as part of a deluxe edition, which is a shame because there are so many great videos and shows and even entire TV specials. When it comes to additional songs and versions, there are quite a few. We have the 1982 non-album single Never Again, a duet with Thomas Ledin, as well as a Spanish version of that song. Then there is the 1983 single It's So Nice To Be Rich and PMB, which I will talk more about in another video very soon. And next to the US remix of Can't Shake Loose, we also have an extended version of The Heat Is On, which to my knowledge was the very first remix in the other world, apart from their own remixes of Ring Ring and Voulez Vous, and it is also one of the longest remixes with almost 8 minutes running time. Finally, there is a single edit for the album's title track, and if you really want to collect everything, the French single version of The Heat Is On has a count-in at the beginning and a slightly longer fade-out. When it comes to non-Agneta songs related to this album, we have Thomas Ledin's own version of his song, also released in 1983 on his album Captured, and as in Frida's case with I Got Something, I'm not quite sure if he specifically wrote the song for Agneta and recorded his version later, or what the story was. And then there is a Dutch version of Wrap Your Arms Around Me, recorded by Bonnie St. Clair, who also became well known in the other world as part of the duo Bonnie and Jose, when they recorded an entire album of ABBA covers in 1985, which since then became sort of a cult classic. If you know of any other cover versions of Agneta's songs worth mentioning, please let us know. What do you think of Agneta's first English language solo album? What are your favorite tracks and special memories? Let me know in the comments below. Alright, until then, hey do!